they're sending the owner out because my order was, I think, a little too small for normal. So this is, uh, it's Derek, right? This is Derek. Joel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Joel. So, um, I know you guys usually sell stuff like by the half pound, by the pound, and sandwiches and stuff. So I'm thinking, like, I was gonna get a half chicken, I was gonna get like at least a pound, pound and a half of brisket, uh, probably like a pound of turkey breast, a couple of your sausage links, like how, like full rack, I heard they're like four pounds, and a sandwich. Is that a lot of food? That's a lot of food, Joel. Yeah, do you think I can eat it? I don't think you can eat it, Joel, no. but that's why I was coming out to check on you. Are you sure that's your order? That's well, your... I, but then I wanted the sides as well, because I heard you guys have the good sides. So I wanted also the, uh, the large coleslaw, the large potato salad, um, the gumbo, here you guys have a special. We got gumbo on special. And beans, of course. Yes, our and beans. you got some desserts? We got desserts. We got our banana pudding, we got our peach cobbler, and we have our uh, cornbread today. All right, so if I get all that, is that like a lot or a little bit? I'm not very hungry. That's a lot, Joel. Let's do it. Okay, I mean, I can make it, it's here. Let's do it. Okay, we're right. gonna do it. Let's do it. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Welcome to the Joel Hansen Show, where we are visiting exceptional restaurants, eating exceptional food, and maybe too much of it. So here I am at Beach Hill Smokehouse, Texas barbecue, super, 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 super excited. Not only do I have four pounds of ribs, a pound of turkey breast, over a pound of burnt ends, a whole half smoked chicken, two sausage links, a pound and a half of brisket, a freaking delicious looking barbecue sandwich called the Austin, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six pounds of sides totaling whatever number that is right there this stuff looks so good it smells delicious all right so without further ado i don't want anything to get cold so let's just kind of dig in i'm not gonna really start anywhere in particular but i have a big roll of napkins or paper towel here i'm sure i will be needing that so uh let's dig in i'm definitely gonna start with some of these delicious looking meats so we'll try some try some ribs beautiful st louis style ribs Mm. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. that's Texas right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> so barbecue is one of my favorite foods, and like so, this mm. is perfect. And the flavors are exceptional. Delicious rib. Try some of this juicy turkey breast. Nice and mild tasting. Just some beautiful barbecue sauce. Give myself a nice pile of it right there. I'll try the turkey and the sauce. Oh yeah. Turkey and just a little bit of that barbecue sauce. Have some of this beautiful jalapeno sausage. Mm. Very nice and juicy. It's made with beef and pork. Really nice pepper, really nice jalapeno flavor to it. Everything's exceptional. I'm glad you're enjoying. Got the pit master right here. Had the uh, pleasure of meeting the gentleman himself. Love it. Love the flavors. I was just saying how much I love these jalapeno sausages too. Yeah, it's our own blend. Mm. Texas barbecue is alive and well in Toronto. Look at the size of those ribs. Mm. Oh. So juicy, so fatty. Just 
falls right off the bone. Love it. Let's try this chicken. Oh wow, that was tender. It just totally fell apart. Super, super moist chicken. Wow. Oh, and those flavors. The salt, the pepper. Oh. oh, oh my god. So good. Just look at that. Beautiful chicken. You can buy a half chicken, a whole chicken. I just want the half. Moderation. Even that chicken breast. The breasts are juicy. And I love juicy breasts. Of all varieties. That doesn't just extend to chicken. Also, shout out to Serenity, one of our awesome friends, subscribers. You often see her on the channel commenting. She wanted to see me eat some barbecue. Uh, here we are. That was, ooh, that was some tasty chicken. <laughs> Try some of this beautiful brisket. Oh, oh. So good. Look at this. I can barely hold it up. Phenomenal. That is cooked right. If you ever have a brisket, ask definitely for the fatty brisket. Anywhere you go. That's my favorite point. Or part. There's like two different parts of the brisket. The lean and then the fatty part. I'm a big brisket person. Try some of these burnt ends, which are also delicious beef. You go uh, check and see how the food, how you, how you like the food. They're so good, man. Awesome. Oh. awesome. I'm gonna do it with my pants. It is that time. And just these burnt ends, deliciously coated in that barbecue sauce. I think it's the same one I have right here. Maybe a little different. But it's good. Look at this. It's like gravity. I can't neglect this beautiful barbecue sandwich we have there. It's just called the Austin. Get through a few more of these beautiful ribs. Again, just huge racks of ribs. Like, over four pounds. That's the breastbone. St. Louis Rex have a big breastbone.
staff are very, very friendly here as well. I met the pit master, met the owner. I hear them talking about all I ordered. It wasn't that much. Maybe it was. So if you're not familiar, what makes Texas barbecue, Texas barbecue? This is basically how it's prepared. Cooking as well. So fire operated smokers. I don't hear that it's an oak. It's very, very traditional. Seasonings are also pretty basic. Mostly consisting of salt and pepper. And it's delicious. That's why these beautiful burnt ends. Ooh. That one was exceptionally soft and fatty. Just gelatinous balls. Oh my god. So fatty and rich. Oh. That sweetness. The sauce. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh boy. Close. These are amazing. These burnt ends might be my favorite. And these are a special item. They have them, I think, pretty, pretty well every week, but I think it's more like a Friday should have a weekend thing. So rich and savory. Like you almost can't eat too many of those. They're so good. So flavorful. And it's so rich. Holy jumpers. Boy. Oh. The best burnt heads I've ever had. Oh. But they are rich. So rich. So fried. Oh. But in a good way. Not calorie free. Mm. I don't think words can describe that bite. We're almost about 10 pounds of meat in already, and I still have all these sides, which are massive. I wanted the big ones, so. Oh boy. Maybe our eyes are a little bigger than our stomach today. Alright, so 
So be strategic. So I want to make sure I get it eaten and everything and try everything. I'm going to leave these ribs for now. So got to make sure I get to all my other delicious items here. Here we have the Austin. It's this sandwich, which is mostly a brisket sandwich with a rib on top. One, an award to be one of the best, I think it was 25 sandwiches in Canada or something like that, or Toronto. Oh, oh, oh. That is simplicity at its best. Brisket, sauce. A very soft bun. I mean, really what you're getting is just the deliciousness of the brisket. All these delicious items here will not require so much chewing. So things should move a little quicker. Okay. First we have a Louisiana style gumbo. I might not be able to tip that too far to show you. We have some sausage, chicken base, Ooh. Some peppers, some jalapenos. Nice little bit of spice to it. Not a crazy spice, but a little bit. I'm feeling it. Nice addition when it's cold outside. Mm -hmm. It's Canadian winter. Right, right, right. So every time, as soon as the weather starts changing, you know, starting getting cold, we bring out our soup in. See, it doesn't get this cold down in Texas. No. So we got to deal with it up here. That's it. That's by it. eating gumbo. <laughs> I like it. Perfect. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. All right, you're very welcome, sir. Anything else you need, let us know. Perfect. No, I think it's pretty good. Okay. I mean, unless you have anything else you recommend, you know. So. <laughs> I think I have the whole menu. You, you do. You I got the whole menu. So I, I, I have everything. So. You got everything we made today. I like it. I'll go with the beans. And then we have a devil's egg potato salad, which looks very delicious. And then a coleslaw, which looks also delicious. And I have a peach cobbler here, cornbread, and a banana pudding. So if you're not familiar, I love banana pudding. Oh, this peach cobbler is so heavy. It's so dense, they just loaded it in this cup. Look at this banana pudding, I love banana pudding. It looks so light and fluffy, Nilla wafers on top. I cannot wait to get to dessert right now. I love dessert. One of my favorite parts. Ooh, those beans. Nice and rich. I don't know if you can see it, but there is still steam coming off of this. Having these sides too to mix all the flavors up is really nice as well. Really enjoy those along with the variety of meats. It's really good. Do some uh, some coleslaw. I love coleslaw. Ooh, you want know to be good? This on that sandwich. 
I love coleslaw and barbecue sandwiches. What a fresh coleslaw though. Very, very fresh. I just taste the, I just want to put just very aromatic, herby, fresh. What's the herbs in Cilantro. There? Cilantro. There you go, cilantro. Very fresh. Thank you. Very fresh taste. Coleslaw. Which the, and you guys make the dressing here too, huh? Yeah. Everything's made in-house. I like it. Nice and light. I guess it's just very fresh, very herbal. We're almost on to our desserts. Some delectable looking potato salad. <laughs> yeah, um, here, one sec. Potato salad. I can taste the double egg. Very rich. Very rich potato salad. I can understand why the average person would only want would only have a small portion of this. I bit my tongue. Ouch. And I am bleeding. We are bleeding. This is the way. Casualties are to be expected. Oh boy. So creamy. You can really tell that it tastes that like double egg, like that yolk. The food is really, really good. Which, like when you're eating so much food, it just makes such a difference. Mm. Like it's really good. Oh boy. All right. Like I said, it's cold. Oh. The door is open. That's why it's got such a breeze in here. I'm gonna shut the door. That makes more sense. I was gonna say, it's getting really cold here for some reason. All right, we're on to desserts now. The banana pudding, I love banana pudding. It just looks so light and fluffy and creamy. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We're back in action, oh boy. Oh my 
gosh. I think I should, uh, I think I could eat a few of these, that's for sure. Little banana chunks in there. Have a little bit left, a little bite. I'm gonna go back to that, really like that. Let's try this cobbler. Massive peach cobbler. There's no way this doesn't weigh two or three pounds by itself. Thank you, appreciate it. Boy, like, I wish I could show you, but it's just, it's so heavy. Like, even compared to the potato salad and stuff, wow. It's just so dense. Look at this, just so dense and moist. I don't know if I've ever had peach cobbler before, to be honest with you. That was a good burp. <clears throat> that was another one. Let's go, peach cobbler. Whoa. Damn. All right, that is like, it's warm. It is sweet. It is cinnamony. It's like Christmas. It's Christmas. Almost there. Ugh. It's a lot of food, but it really is exceptionally delicious. That was exceptional. I can definitely eat a few more of those. I almost just want banana pudding. It was that good. I'm sure this cornbread's good though. It smells good. And this piece of corn. How you doing, sir? Probably come up and check on you. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a lot of food. You did great. But it's exceptional. Okay, thank you very much. So I've been eating. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying it. Awesome, Joe. Uh, I'm going to finish this. I think I'm going to take those ribs to go, though. Okay. I was thinking I had to get a dolly, man, or a wheelbarrow. I mean, we could do that, too. Okay. I might need it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> awesome. I, I, actually, I just don't know where you put all this stuff. Oh, it's pretty, it's right here, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I can sure feel it, that's for sure. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Delicious though. Thank you. Thank Those you. desserts? Mm-hmm. Like that banana pudding stuff? Oh. Okay. I might take another one of those, but... Mm-hmm. For you, everything in moderation. I don't think... How about a pillow and a blanket? Uh, that might come. <laughs> I say, I don't think I need seconds today, I'll tell you that. Okay.
Hi everybody. Delicious. I didn't take those last two ribs to go. I had another rib on my uh, sandwich I totally forgot about, so. Absolutely delicious though, seriously. Beach Hill Smokehouse. Would recommend. We want some Texas barbecue in the Toronto area. Excellent place to stop by. So with that everybody, huge thanks to everybody here at Beach Hill. Lovely experience, excellent staff, excellent food. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna need a nap, but uh, that was great. I think my favorite meats were probably like the burnt ends, the brisket, the ribs are really good. Um, actually the sausage is really, really, really good too. Chicken was really good. Love that banana pudding. The like peach cobbler is exceptional. Coleslaw was really nice and fresh. I think it was great. Yes, I left two two ribs out of my over 4.2. So 4.2 is the rack plus the extra rib. So I did leave two little bones because I want to be in a happy place. I don't want to be in a dark place. Could I eat them right now? Yes, I'm not going to. Again, this is not a challenge like a restaurant per se. This is me just coming in having a lovely casual dinner. So thank you all for joining me, really appreciate it. So everybody, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Of course, don't do what I do. And with that, happy eating. All right, and here with both the owner and owner and pit master. Gentlemen, what's the secret? What's the secret to good Texas barbecue? Low and slow. Low and slow? And a lot of love. 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 Absolutely. I can feel the love and Maybe that's also just a lot of food in my stomach, but it's really warm. It's a warming sensation. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for having me out. Definitely they have something good going here at Beach Hill Smokehouse. Would recommend stopping by whenever you're looking for some Texas-style barbecue, Central Texas-style barbecue in Texas. And gentlemen, anything you want to say? Glad well, you enjoyed it all. Yeah. Absolutely. Glad to have you, Joe. Look, and look forward to having you again. Thank you so much for coming. And I will be back. I'm going to take them up on that offer. So, with that, everybody, thank you.